Hey everyone, this is Wade from FishFinderMounts.com and FlowTube Fanatics, and I'm here today with our uh, Fish Cat Super Fat Cat LCS Fish Cat 4 or whatever it may be. It's the big one, anyways. And we've got the Garmin Echo 301C that we're going to put on here, and we've got our U1 mount. It has the smaller plates here, and it's been pre-drilled for. Uh, the Garmin Echo series of finders and a lot of their finders are that same pattern so you can see the holes in here and we're just going to stick that onto the U1 assembly of ours so that you can see how easy this is to put together. You're going to get it with this you're going to have to put your fish finder on it first and once you've done that you just lock it down to the battery box here and we're going to take our power cord like so and here's our transducer cord so everything is here I've already cable tied it together and wrapped it up nicely so I'm going to take the power cord here and it uh, looks like the fish are jumping out there so we want to get out there as soon as we can <laughs> plug everything in now what we want to do is we want to nicely tie all of our cables together to keep it out of the way I'm a fly fisherman so I certainly don't want my fly line getting caught uh, up with with things so you try to keep things as minimal and as uh, neat and tidy as possible when you're fly fishing off a float tube and uh, it's one of the most fabulous ways to actually fish because you have so much control over the fish when you catch fish you can fight them so well because you can move with the fish really easily plus it's so quiet compared to a boat with a motor on it just move this over a little bit so it's equal and even. So you see the notches in here that I've just been using with our cable ties. They're machined right into the box. So we're going to cinch everything right to the box. So now you've got an extremely portable kit. I'm not going to snip these off. I don't have the snippers with me right now. And I'm going to take the strap. You see here from Full Tooth Fanatics and FishFinderMounts.com. The assembly together as you see it here. And we're going to take the strap and we're going to put it through the base of the box. So you see the slots here. So we're going to route it down through the slot hole here. Underneath and up through the other slot hole here. Just like so. And you want to keep the cam, cam buckle close to the battery box base here. Right here as close as you can get it. So it's going to be like this when it's on your float tube here. So we're going to take this transducer mount now, which comes in the kit. Our kits, this kit here, the U1 kit for float tubes, provides you everything you need to mount and power your fish finder straight out of the box. This can also be used for some pontoons as well. Depending on how high your oar locks are, we don't really recommend them usually, but you could get away with it. We usually recommend our UP series. So here I've gone again up from the top side through the slot here and then I'm going to come through here the other slot just like the battery box the same concept again and we're going to move that somewhere in this detent you know like about a foot and a half maybe we're going to we can adjust it once it on once once it's on but you just need the transducer just below the water line we'll show you that in a little bit here so we'll bring that around the tube just like so and if the camera can come over here and show me putting it through the buckle. So it's going to go up through the cam buckle here, like such, and then it's going to come back down, similar to the battery box, even in the the cable tie or the uh, sorry the transducer mount there. And there we have it. Now I've only inflated. Let's take the whole tube here Get down to the water. So now that we've got it in the water, depending on your launching area, you might not want your transducer to be, you're going to want it maybe up out of the water when you're first launching out. Maybe there's a lot of weeds, uh, lily pads, debris, there's a lot of uh, rocks or stuff. You want to make sure that you protect your transducer so you can kick it out and lock it in here. As you can see, I just did that. I've locked it in. And once I'm ready to go and I'm sitting in here, you just want it suspended just underneath the water line. 
just like you see here. That's the best situation possible that you could ask for because you're measuring from the top of the water down to the bottom of the water and so you want it at the top of the water. You don't want it like the fishing buddy, uh, the hummingbird 110, 20 or 40 where it's sticking on off your float tube two feet down already. You're getting an accurate measurement this way, your float tube transducers in the water and you're reading your temperature of the water and everything. So this is how you set it all up and you can see the Garmin Echo 301C is on right now. Of course it's not in demo mode so it's like very shallow here. It's not measuring anything really but there you go. There is Float Tube Fanatics and FishFinderMounts.com. Uh, put it on your tube assembly uh, uh, steps that you take and little tips and tricks. So thanks for watching everyone. I'm Wade from FishFinderMounts.com and Float Tube Fanatics and you can call us at 1-855-784-3474 to get your amazing float tube fish finder mount. We're making all fish finders portable. These are universal kits and you can put tons of different fish finders on these kits. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, this is Wade from FishFinderMounts.com and Float Tube Fanatics. We're here out in the lake taking some videos and I just want to show you I'm done for the day. I've got my float tube here uh, ready to go in my truck. You can see I can just throw it in the back here. But I want to keep the transducer protected out of the way of damage. So not only when I'm launching and when I'm beaching my float tube uh, and my fish finder set up with my transducer here, I want to protect the transducer here. So what I can do here is just simply tilt this up, lock it in this way, tighten it down, and now she's up out of the way so I'm not hitting my wheel wells or what have you on my float tube fish finder setup. So you can see how versatile the whole setup is. And you just throw it in there, tie her down and away you go. Maybe you go to the next lake. But this is Wade from fishfindermounts.com just showing you how our float tube transducer mount setup works and how versatile it really is. Thanks for watching everyone.